The charity Unseen is opening the country's first safe house for trafficked men. We decided that we would set something up uh, replicating our women's safe house. Trafficking and slavery happens to men as well. That This isn't just about sexual exploitation. People are forced into domestic servitude. People are forced into labour. Um, people that we see on our streets working in car washes, working in restaurants, working in hotels, working in the agricultural sector may all be kind of um, experiencing exploitation and trafficking. For this project to work, the location of this safe house has to be a complete secret. We can't film anything which might give away its location. In fact, this is the very first time Unseen have allowed a film crew inside one of its safe homes, partly because of the issue of identification and partly because this is a home, a home right now to five men who are all recovering from the effects of trafficking. And these men are some of the most vulnerable. There's a support team in the house 24 hours a day. The traffickers tend to want them back because they've lost some of their profit um, and this means that we have to be really careful about house rules and about um, keeping the locations of the projects really safe and secure. So when someone arrives with us we ask them to turn off their phone and to hand it over to us and the reason we do this is around safety. Lots of people have smartphones which means they are easily trackable, social media, Facebook um, and their traffickers can contact them. So we ask them to hand over their phones and we give them new phones upon arrival as a safety mechanism. And whilst here, the men are given English and cookery lessons, but rest is key to their recovery. We give every survivor their own room, and this is really important because it's their own space, it's their own safety. And this is important because lots of people have experienced such horrific conditions. We've worked with people who have had to sleep on the floor of the properties they've been working in. We've had to work with people who've been sleeping in caravans and in sheds. So actually having their own space that is dedicated to them is really important. But this haven only lasts for a few months while the Home Office decides their future. Many are sent back home to where their slavery began. The others who are allowed to stay in the UK start the long search for a more permanent home, with some ending up on the streets. Fiona Lambdin, BBC Points West.